guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episodes 1 and 2 of Simple Gear GX, GX? Yes, GX, mm -hmm. oh my god, my fucking neck. Okay, so, we're finally gonna be able to continue on this damn show, I mean, because the last time y'all saw me was, like, pre-recorded shit, and I've been so busy doing other stuff, and I'm like, yeah, I need to get ready and start on this, because, like, I had a situation with the Monogatari series of editing that, and I was like, oh my god, we're gonna have to deal with some stupid bullshit. I'm not gonna be able to get this out by Friday. I was like, I, I had like a little mini panic attack between last night and yesterday. But it's okay. It's Thursday. I, I have enough time. I'm just trying to get stuff done before all my shows come out at like 7, 8 o'clock tonight. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 1. And hold on, because let's do it now. In 3, 2, 1, go. That is fucking loud. Oh. This has been like what how many, like two, three weeks since I last watched this show. Y'all gonna die.
But Jesus Christ, I mean, <laughs> it's damn hot. <laughs> No, I didn't call for you, puppy. Stay away. No one was hurt. But good mission, girls. Good job. Oh. <laughs> Are you ever not eating? Like, oh my god. So, okay, has this been like a week, two weeks, three weeks, something? I mean, y'all ain't giving me no answers on this bitch. Oh, there we go. Three months. All right. <laughs> Roll or is that a cutie? Or should I be? No. Who the hell are you? And another woman. Girl. Okay, I already got questions. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, swimming would be so fucking nice, but no. It's still semi cold, semi kind of getting warm here in Florida. Of Fucking gorgeous, oh my god. so fucking beautiful, I'm gonna cry. Oh my god, no. Please fucking stop. Like, I didn't need this today. Well, shit, damn. Mm -hmm. 
you know what? Kitty, I should have made her go with him as well. I mean, but <laughs> is it four better than two? Though I'm just saying. Okay, but one of them, my guess, is even cute for it. She's gonna run into the girl with the purple outfit on, running with the freaking box. What kind of fuckery is this? Like, oh my god. I mean, hold up, wait, 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 don't you mean girlfriend, because, like, I'm slowly starting to ship you two, I mean, but still, I need a little bit more, but it's coming! <laughs> Baby, no, oh, it's a kid. Oh,
Didn't that feel a little too easy, though? I mean, we, we've seen this, like, in past seasons. It's like, oh, hey, too fucking easy. And then all this shit that happens later on the show. Girl. Wait, 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 wait. Stop. 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 Wasn't that just the same girl a couple minutes ago in the purple outfit? What the fuck is going on? But you got another child named Tuesday? This ain't going to be like freaking Horizon and Bella Nowhere Season 2 where there's two sisters, the fraternal twins, and one wants to kill the other, right? Wait! That thing ain't human. Damn it, she, she. God damn it. Are you fucking kidding me? You wouldn't right there. Come on. You, you know Chris is gonna come. Chris is coming. We don't know when she gonna get there. She gonna get there, though. Okay. Got a lot of questions. Carol. What the fuck? Okay, so she watched her father die right in front of her. Like, burn at the stake like a witch. What the fuck is going on? Um, I, I got some questions. But, uh, of course, those questions are probably not going to be answered until the second half of this show, right? I, I mean, Jesus, like, for this show to start out the way it just started, I mean, honestly, that was good. I, I wouldn't kind of say it's a little bit better than season two start, but holy shit. I mean, I wasn't expecting that, and now it makes me wonder how, you know, season four and the final season, how they're going to open up, because, I mean, each first episode is usually the top tier best for each season, but damn, like, I wasn't expecting all this with episode one. Uh, the girl who literally just sucked the life out of one of the bodyguards, what the fuck is her deal? The other girl who kind of looked like Carol, what? Hello, I, I just have questions, and I would love for them to be answered. Of course, you're not going to give me everything that I want in episode one because of reasons, and I can't get spoiled on everything. But from the way it's going, it seems like Carol and this other blonde girl are fraternal twins. And it's going to be some shit like for freaking Horizon in the middle of nowhere. Some type of shit. I, I mean, I don't know. I got no fucking clue. I, I, I just, but I got questions and questions and questions about this little girl. Why, why are you doing this? And then, okay, why is everybody after this other girl who kind of looks like Carol? I mean, shit, like, what the fuck is going on? Why did she take this box? What is inside of this box? It, it's going to be something that's going to power up PvP later on in the damn series, ain't it? Because, I mean, come on, usually whatever it is, it usually is in the end for PvP, the one who gets the most <laughs> ultimate OP power as fuck, just like a big behind transformation or some shit. You know, I mean, it happened in Madoka. It's gonna happen in Pretty Cure because she's in freaking Pretty Cure, but we're gonna have to wait for like we're only on episode one of Healing Good. So probably about like episode 10, 11, 12, 14, 14 15, maybe before the last gear comes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shit like that. But we all know it's gonna happen, but I mean, come on. 
But this was really good. My god, the performance of Saint Mary is so fucking yeah, gay. so fucking gay. I mean, but he's so gay in this show and I love it. Like, my baby, my feelings. And it's hot as fuck in my room. I'm gonna open my window in a minute. But honestly, this is a good first episode. Like, oh my god, to be away from this show for about two, maybe three weeks, I believe, and to finally come back into it and ish like it felt like I never really left it even though yes I did because moving from one place to the other and trying to hurry up and get shit in the house and then cable and internet and ish and you're just trying to hurry up and you just really want to know what the fuck is gonna happen next but yeah that's all go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode two okay episode two and three two one go oh that feels so good oh. Is this going to be dealing with time travel for this show? I mean, I, I don't know how I feel about this. She likes to talk. She a talk kind of gal. That's who. Okay. What's your... Is it about the people that killed your dad? I mean, because that's the only thing I can think of. Like, what else are you going to be? Child, like, hello. So, you're telling me that this little girl is our villain for this season? Uh uh. <laughs> no one's such a cute one, well, no, because, yeah, last season. Because it took me, like, I think, well, one hour. What the fuck is the sword? Wait. Okay, take everything that I just said a second ago, just take that, throw it away. What the fuck? What the fuck? This is some time travel bullshit. It had something in the past, so she's probably gonna go back and say, I don't know, Carol, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? It, is it somewhere where you live, possibly in the present, when your dad got killed? Burned at the stake, and you sat there and watched, and you just want revenge for everybody killing your dad. That's the reason why, right? It's gotta be. What else is it gonna be? Okay, hold up. No, I got one more thing to say. The girl who was just in red with them fucking crazy eyes, why is she giving me feels of the one girl from, like, the final season of Prison of Alia and her Because <laughs> I looked at her for a moment and I was like, um, Yeah. Yeah. 
life. I gotta sleep. I have food. Oh my god. Oh shit. That girl, mm -hmm. she's got to be a JoJo because then fucking poses and thinking where she is. That girl, Why is it that Chris has, like, the best transformations in this damn show? Like, oh my god. I mean, I wanted to say something about this in the first episode, but holy shit. I mean, every season, it just gets better. Like, ugh. I can't. This episode would not have the damn- Ugh, that's so fucked up. Jesus Christ. You would think the girl in purple would want to stop them, but then she's just sitting there watching it the whole entire time. I would have assumed because if she cares for these characters, that she'd be like, hey, time out. Of course. Lynn, don't, don't you dare blow this curtain, I swear to God. the fuck? Um. Hello? We, we not gonna talk about what the fuck that was?
Oh. Oh. So then Maria ain't going to school either. And you are? Who are you, my child? Shut up, Fitbit. <laughs> How do you know me? See, I told you. I told you! <laughs> Somebody is cooking something and it smells so freaking good. I am hungry. <laughs> You're gonna get killed. See, I don't think he became transformed back. He's too much. Right? And now she's about to kick you? Like, beat your butt, girl? Mm-mm.
Shut up. You tell me the memory reaction when they're like kissing and then sucking the life out of people. That's what that. Mm -mm. Oh, screw you. Mm-hmm. Okay, apparently it is. I I'm thinking, like, how the hell alchemy can be powerful than sinful gear? Because it seems like sinful gear is the most powerful thing. And they you think that for two whole seasons, and you get to season three, and they're like, nah, like, it ain't. What the fuck? Okay, but okay, here's the thing I want to know. Are these three going to be able to get their gears back? Because I don't want it to be a whole damn season where these three can't fight. I mean, that's a little fucked up. They're still helping. I get that. I ain't mad about that. But, I mean, what else can you do without that gear?
I really hate the fact that this episode does not have the song and sub because, oh my god. Of course you can see the fucking noise. Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? If they're not noise, what the fuck are they? What the fuck? What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck just happened? I'm thinking these are regular fucking noise. What the fuck? No! Now they can't transform! What in the fuckery is this bullshit? What is this? What is this? Why did you do this? Oh my god, they were doing so freaking well, and they're like, mm -hmm, let's just go ahead and flick this, and then just... I can't handle this. I, I can't. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, my heart. Like, why are you doing this to me? What the fuck is going on? I have questions. What does this mean? What does this mean? You can't leave like that and expect me to wait until next week or this weekend to watch the next damn episode. Hopefully I have time tomorrow. I mean, I only got one fucking show, but I got to watch the next Patreon show that one of my shows is officially ending tonight, but still. Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck was that shit? Everything was going fine until, like, uh, bullshit fuckery. I'm not going to say that's something like... Uh, Pulling it out of your ass, but yes, I mean that is. I, I have questions, Carol. What the fuck? Um, Elf. I'm just gonna call you Elf for short. What the hell? I mean, y'all got some explaining to do. I, I, I'm hoping from like what Carol was talking about her father, and then like uh, he be he repeating the same words before she knocked out. I'm guessing she's also talking about her father in a way. I cut from what I want to see from this season, especially because of the fact that she has talked about her parents a little bit in the past, really mainly her mother and her grandmother, but not really her father. And typically, usually, I get the fact that like, sometimes they don't really want to focus on a father, or maybe like, yeah, her father died at a young age, something, but there has to be something there, and that, I don't know. Y'all know, I don't know anything. Maybe there's a big secret about her father. Like, I don't think so. Like, I don't think he's dead or anything or whatever. But I ain't gonna know until episode three or four. But 
I don't know why. When I look at Elf, I'm kind of getting, like, Eddie Chan vibes with her. I don't know why. Just looking at her, she seems like she might be a defenseless child. She may not be able to handle herself. But she also seems like she can handle herself. It just really depends. This is only episode two. I mean, what the fuck was that ending? Like, are you freaking kidding me? I, 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 I can't. I can't. I, I can't. Because, oh my god, like, this is how I felt. During Stein's date, like, all this shit, like, oh my god, no, happy, happy in episode one, and then we get to that, almost being done with the damn series, and then it's like, hey, the only way you're gonna be able to save such and such is you gotta go back in time and do this. Like, no, <laughs> this is complicated, I mean, but it's so good. I, I just got questions, and of course, I'm not gonna get them answered, like, ASAP, but other than that, guys, that's my reaction to be towards episodes one and two of Simpho Gear GX. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for pay no, next Friday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes three and four. Bye guys.